Hello, everyone. Welcome to the MMA Island Prediction Show. And we got a fight that I personally am very excited for. We got one of my favorite prospects in Sean Brady taking on his biggest test, I'm not sure, in a Jake Matthews. Now, Sean Brady, 13-0, exemplary record, coming in with a three-fight winning streak in the promotion with some good names. So you got Court McGee. You got a probably the best win on his resume is the Austrian wonder boy, Ismail Nardiev. One of the few guys who left the UFC on his own accord, didn't get cut. He just wanted to get better elsewhere. Fair enough. I respect that. And then he sure. goes and gets a kind of a layup in Christian Aguilera. Like he deserved to fight a step up. And I guess he's getting that step up now in Jake Matthews. Now, what I yeah. like about Sean Brady is that he is so well-rounded. Now, this guy is a massive welterweight. He is a huge, huge guy. He has a lot of size and a lot of strength. And when you think about that, you think, hmm, maybe this guy gasses out. No, he has really good cardio as well. He throws great shots. He's insanely powerful, but that's not even the best part. When you go to the ground, that is when you are in Sean Brady's world. This guy is an incredible Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner, and that has shown in his sub win over Christian Aguilera. This guy trains out of Henzo Gracie in Philadelphia. And this guy, if you get on the ground with uh, – with Sean Brady, you're not going to make it out alive. Most people in the welterweight division will not. And Jake Matthews is on a three-fight win streak, but it's one of the least impressive ones I think I've seen. He lost a round to Emil Mech in a fight that he should have dominated based off the fact that he just knows how to wrestle, and that's how to beat Emil Mech. You just wrestle. He doesn't have any semblance of takedown defense, and yet he still lost a round. That is not good. And Jake Matthews is a lot of the big part of his game because he is not high volume striking at all. Like he has very good striking defense, but he just does not throw at a high volume when Sean Brady does. I think Sean Brady is going to establish the forward pressure in this fight because that's kind of how he fights. He uses his physicality to force his opponents backwards and bring them to where he wants to be. Because as we know, Sean Brady is confident absolutely everywhere. In the clinch, he's confident. On the feet, he's confident. On the ground, he is especially confident. And thinking about Jake Matthews' path to victory in this fight, I'm not sure what it is. Is it to control him on the ground for three rounds? You're going to be in danger of getting caught in a sub. Is it to stri strike with this guy? He is more powerful than you, and he throws at higher volume. He's most likely going to catch you. You're not going to win that way. Through the clinch, I think that's maybe Jake Matthews' best path to victory. Is it within the clinch? But yeah. I'm not sure that he can do it. I think that Sean Brady is kind of better everywhere. Then Jake Matthews, maybe instead of like light striking, because everything Sean Brady throws is with like an insane amount of power. And Jake Matthews is like a little bit more conservative, but we know that Brady has the cardio to, you know, back up the heavy power game that he brings in. So I'm going to pick Sean Brady. He's one of the bigger favorites on the card. And I can see yeah. why he's a prospect that a lot of people are excited about. As soon as I saw him fight Court McGee, I was like, this guy's going to be special. He has proven so far. So I'm going to go with Sean Brady. I think. God, I think he's going to win a decision. I don't think he's going to be able to finish Jake Matthews. Jake Matthews is pretty hard to finish. He's only been finished twice in like five years. So, yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Sean Brady by decision. Okay, so I actually, for this card, I know Jake Matthews. I've seen a lot of his fights. I'm very familiar with him. Sean Brady, I don't know too well, but I was looking at his record. Um I was looking, also looking at the betting odds, and yeah, he is a sizable favorite, a uh, minus two ten, which is, you know, I, I I I tend to take betting odds into account when I, you know, generally, most of the time, I mean, favorites do win, right? So that went into my my mind, <laughs> and um, yeah, you know, Jake Matthews, uh, Zach is right. Yeah, he's won six of his last seven, so I mean, props. That's that's good, but yeah, his last three fights, you know, not a great quality of opponents. Diego um, Sanchez. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's Diego yeah, Sanchez that. is awesome, bro. Oh my God. Um, so yeah, you know, taking that into account, I think Brady's um, got a lot of potential. I mean, 13 and 0 regardless. Of being oh, sorry. That's uh, that's hella impressive. So uh, I'm going to go with Brady by a uh, unanimous decision. Yeah. Look, I always love to pick against, guys who are undefeated it, it, it's always great i always think that i'm being the smartest guy in the room like you said zach there really is very few paths to victory for jake matthews in this fight i think you were right when you said the the, the clinch is, is where he's going to be able to do it 
get in there, make it dirty, you know, get, get, try to, try to make this as boring a fight as possible. But, you know, Sean Brady is really good. You're right when you say he's really good. He's really exciting. I can't see where Jake Matthews is doing it. And I know the MMA math doesn't always add up. And, uh, you know, you can't say, oh, well, he beat this guy, so he would beat this guy. But you have to think that if Sean Brady were stepping in with Diego Sanchez on Saturday evening, that fight would not be going the distance. That fight would not be in any way close. And, no. you know, Sean Brady would be well able to get rid of Diego Sanchez, which yeah. Jake Matthews really wasn't able to do with as much ease as someone should be to be progressing in that division. So, yeah, yeah I'm going to have to go for Sean Brady in this one. Seems like it's a clean sweep on the board for Sean Brady, who's a very popular pick, and it's uh, it's easy to see why. Uh, thank you for watching this prediction video. Make sure to check out the rest. We will see you in the next one.